And we will begin with our first contestant is Pat Hansen, Aging Positively, Aging Positively, Pat Hansen. Well, as a retired by budget cuts academic health educator, I had to find something to do. So I give talks on aging positively. Mm -hmm. And uh, you get reminded, because we're all aging, whether we like it or not, I try to help people put a positive twist on the worst fears of aging. You get reminded you're aging early, on your 50th birthday, when this art card <laughs> arrives in your mailbox. And if you're smart and you pay $8 a year thereafter, you get this lovely magazine, which the baby boomers are changing the face of. This is this month's art magazine, our 21 sexiest grown-up men. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Colin Firth, George Clooney, of course, political leaders as well as sexy movie stars. We're writing the book. As you get closer to 65, you get reminded you're aging when you go to your mailbox. This is a little card I got in the last month. Looks just like your social security statement, but inside, it's your funeral advantage. <laughs> and this one is your senior, your final expense life insurance program to cover what Social Security doesn't cover, death expenses. But my favorite one was this one, an ad for cremation that said, think outside the box. <laughs> well, I thought outside the box and wanted to change the definitions of beauty in our culture, and on my 60th birthday day, I held two croning ceremonies. They are um, rituals where we light candles and dance as a group of women, and we look in the mirror and we agree to celebrate our wrinkles, and we <laughs> reach for a crown. We literally walked through an arch and crowned ourselves with either this crown, that we were crones and welcomed old age, or this one. And this was more my favorite. Um, yet, as I now am 67 and look in the mirror, and I see these little saddlebags that appear on my eyes, I begin thinking of drastic things that are in the box for lots of women about aging to do. And I can't do what Phyllis Diller, who, bless her, at 95 is still performing, does. Um, and doesn't take her own advice, but she said, don't worry about wrinkles or crow feet. just go braless when you get older, and it, gravity will bring those down. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't for me. Some part of aging worse <clears throat> for me, um, especially giving up the moodiness and mood swings of the menstrual cycle. In fact, I celebrated menopause by spending the money I saved on tampons on earrings. <laughs> and um, there's sort of a more acceptance of life that I label PMS, post-menopausal syndrome. Okay? And I think it is an elevated state. As you get older, you don't have to worry so much about where you're going in life but you sometimes have to worry about if you can hold it till you get there. <laughs> <laughs> At 67, I gave up buying earrings because I never leave home without pads now. The money is spent. <laughs> <laughs> and as we age, we also get more spiritual. We think more about the hereafter. And I do especially, because whenever I go into the next room, I go, what was I here after? <laughs> <laughs> Those memory issues are really, really important. In fact, memory loss, though, can be seen as a good thing. Because your secrets are safe with your friends, they'll forget them anyway. <laughs> and seeing all those movies again, are, they become twice as good because you see them richer. Also, life after menopause brings changes as a, and a desire for more quiet, more time to be still and not multitask and um, meditate and listen for that still small voice. But when I try to do that and meditate, all I hear is this cacophony of ringing in my ears. And the tinnitus my husband has too, and we didn't even 
go to too many rock concerts. Um, I was in the other room the other day, and I called him. I said, honey, shall I turn the toaster oven on bake? And he called back from the living room. Sure, we're deteriorating at the same rate. You know, <laughs> it just goes to the thing. They say as you get older, um, you can live without sex, but not without your glasses. My idea for not living without glasses is to go to the dollar store and keep things in every room. And these days, we can, don't have to live without sex because of a little blue pill that's called Viagra. And it's very expensive, however. It's $571 for a 100 capsule container. Now that's positive thinking. <laughs> um, but according to a very reliable anonymous internet source, the FDA is coming out with a generic for Viagra, but they didn't know what to name it. After careful consideration, they settled on the name My Coxaflopin. <laughs> Close runners up were my dicks a droopin, my dicks a rising, and my favorite ibuprofen. <laughs> and Pfizer is soon to market a um, soft drink in liquid form, Viagra. They, um, it will soon be able, men will soon be able to pour themselves a stiff drink. And it gives them meaning <laughs> to the word highballs and cocktails. <laughs> well, the name for that they had no trouble with. It was, and Pat has to remember, it was Mountain Dew. <laughs> so whether you like it or not, we are all aging. And we need to remember that life is like a roll of toilet paper. The closer you get to the end, the faster it goes. <laughs> so in those few precious moments that some of us have less of than others, enjoy it. Have fun. Thank you.